Welcome to the Dromias Yachts stand at the Southampton Boat Show, where there is a new boat making its debut at the show here. Now this is the Dromias Yachts D28 SUV. Now the SUV is a sports utility version, it has the enclosed wheelhouse, and this is its sister boat, the uh, open, the walk-around version of the very same boat. So they're both designed by a well-known British designer called Adam Younger, who's renowned for producing very strong high performance hulls but this is very much a leisure boat version and we'll jump on board and take a proper look round but first let's just have a quick look at the hull you can see it's got full walk around decks this one is fitted with a, uh, a full water sports arch over the engine it's got a Yamaha 300 horsepower motor on it but you can have singles or twins you can see it's got a really nice sturdy looking design it's quite a fine entry point so that should allow you to cut through the waves nicely but then it fills out so you've got a plenty of volume in the boat itself so nice good buoyancy at, at the front that should help it make sure it copes with the waves and rides up and over them rather than pushing through them now we've got a anchor on the bow there we'll take a closer look at that and these two little uh, kind of support backrests so you can turn them into seats but notice the really sturdy rubber, rubber fendering all the way around that's very much part of the design of the boat it's a kind of utilitarian look a sort of explorer style almost and it is in fact a twin stepped hull which gives it really strong performance this particular one should do about 40 knots with a single 300 uh, but with you can have up to twin 250s so that should be pushing 50 knots when it's flat out with those and you can see this one is also fitted with a stern anchor that's because they're also popular in Scandinavia where people often more uh, bow to a rock or a small island and then have a stern anchor to hold it in place but let's jump on board and take a closer look. So lots and lots of storage around this cockpit area. You can see either side in the combings themselves, there are little lockers with fenders that actually fit in there. You can see the narrow uh, sort of sponge style fenders that stow neatly in there. Exactly the same over on this side too. Another one with those slimline fenders on. Lots of little storage spaces all around on the decks. If you lift up, these we should be able to have a look in here swivel that round so you can see either side we've got a battery in here we've also got poles for the sun awning you can have a sun awning over this aft cockpit area or over the bow let's close that up there's a little bathing platform either side of the outboard engine you can see that lifts up and there is a bathing ladder there too but in addition to that bathing ladder there's a rather more exotic one here. You can see this whole section folds down. I've got it on a stay at the moment, just so it doesn't drop into the water, but the whole thing goes down underwater and then you've got a ladder built into that. So really nice to have that side exit too. Particularly handy if you're into water sports or diving. It's really nice to be able to step out through the side. Just get that in position, there we go, and then secure it back in place. Now this cockpit area, you can have this either with two seats or the wet bar that we've got here. You can see this is currently equipped with a gas burner and a sink under this side. And then there's an option for one or two fridges underneath. I think this has just got it fitted out with storage, but you can see that you could put a couple of fridges in there too. But you can also have that as a seating area. So if you would just want a more sociable setup, you can have another bench seat there facing aft as well as this one. Now this bench also has a swing over backrest. So you can sit facing aft. It obviously doesn't work quite so well with that big water sports bar there. That's very much an option. And then this whole bench area does swing up too. If you release those rubber hatchet, those rubber retainers, that swings up so that the engine can lift completely out of the water. Now it's got full walk around decks, just one more thing to point out, there is a pull out shower down there too. So when you come, come out of the water you can hose off with fresh water, get rid of the salt. Now really good setup on top of this wheelhouse, you can see there's a full roof rack, we've got rod holders on the back here, but also lots of hand holds you can hang on to. Nice high bulwarks, so well protected side decks, and of course you can always use that 
roof rack as a handhold too as you move along. Good sturdy central cleat and then these black grab rails, the uh, guard rails around the side of the deck. Small step up here is the foredeck but it is very easy still to move right round up here and then this is a rather fun little foredeck cockpit as well. So at the moment we've got it sort of set up as a sort of chaise long or a bench so you can sit on both sides of this little table but that can also drop and you can have an infill there to create a big sun pad. But for a fairly small space, it is only 28 foot, it's a remarkably versatile little spot. So those act as backrests, you can sit, sit, sit down there and sit facing your friends, guests over on the other side. Plenty of space here, there's two anchor lockers, so this has got an electric windlass in here and that's the gas locker you can just see there, but also handy storage for cushions, you can see those are the infill cushions to make up the sun pad. So lots of clever little features and functions and places to store your kit. There's that anchor. Now it needs to protrude quite a long way out because it's a fairly vertical stem, but that is long enough to make sure it drops down into the water clear of the boat. Got a couple of cup holders on the side, and then back down the side deck and into the wheelhouse. Now I really like the fact that it's got doors on both sides of the wheelhouse. Just makes it so much lighter, more accessible, plenty of fresh air. They can get surprisingly hot, these wheelhouses in the sun, but with both doors open, it doesn't feel that way at all. And in fact, on the back one, there's also a sliding window. So you open that all up and you've got a really good flow of air through here. So this has got a setup with uh, one bench along the back there, and then these two helm seats here. These are bolstered, but they've also got switch over backrests. So you can pop those in that direction. And then you've got a really nice little sociable seating area with seats facing each other across a small table. It is fairly small, but you can just about sit down there and have some lunch. We've got latches on here too, which if we undo those, that lifts up and you can see you've got a little sink there too. That table is removable, you can see that slots into place in that little mount there, so that will lift out. If you want to just keep this as a more open space, it's an easy way to do it. You can take the table out, stir it somewhere else, and then you've got a bit more space for the ride itself. Now both forward-facing seats, once we flip those back over, you can see they are bolstered too, so those flip up, give you more space. There is a fridge in here, so you can have the fridge in here and one or two out on that wet bar, or if you don't have the wet bar, you can just have that there. Got the helm station. You can see there is a footrest here because they're quite tall, these seats. So you can perch up at the helm, get yourself nicely in position, feet on the footrest. These big doors opening, and you can see they're nice and tall, so they're fairly easy to slide through. It's not like they're sort of extended windows. They are proper sliding doors. Good setup at the helm station, twin Garmin screens. We've got a side power bow thruster there too. All the controls for the pumps, the windscreen, all of that nicely laid out with those little chrome buttons. Yamaha single throttle for that engine. And then Fusion sound system and Garmin VHF over there and the Yamaha engine monitoring system. Another grab rail here, so everywhere you move, there's lots of places to hang on to. There's a big sliding hatch overhead as well. I probably ought to see if I can show you this. It's reasonably stiff, but you can see that swivels around to open it up. And then if you give it a good tug, you can see that opens too. So lots of fresh air coming in through the side, through the top, through that aft window. Just makes it really nice and fresh in here. You don't feel like you're too cooped up. And then you can see that is, has a separate sliding hatch across the access into the cabin itself. So that slides into place, put that down, and then drop down into the cabin. So a little bit dark down here. There, there is a hatch forward, uh, which opens up if you want to get some air in there, but it's not a glass hatch. That's really just for opening up and chucking your bags through. There are a couple of small, well, there's this small window here, and of course the sliding glass perspex door. We've got access to all the fuses in there 
and a little bit of storage. We have got some lights in here, see if we can flick them on. Don't think the boat is actually rigged on the shore power, hence the reason it's a little bit dark in there. But crucially, there is also a separate heads compartment. And actually, this has got an opening port as well as a little uh, side window that lets a good amount of natural light in there. There's a sink in here, a pull-out shower, a toilet. It's obviously a wet room. There is a little sump down there, so you can have a shower in there. It's pretty basic, but then let's not forget this is only a 28-foot boat. So very nice to have any kind of facilities aboard at all on a, a boat of this size. But I think you'll agree it's a remarkably versatile little boat. It's got a bit of everything going on. You've got indoor space, you've got outdoor space. Now price for this particular one, the full starting price is 160,000 euros, including VAT. This particular boat is actually a demonstration boat and is for sale at 120,000 pounds, that is, including VAT. But I have to say, I rather like the look of it. It's a nicely robust, but it's quick. You can use it all year round. And if it performs anything like as well as it looks, it should be rather a handy little boat. Now that we've had a look at the Dromi S28 SUV, let's have a quick look also at the walk-around model. Now you can see it's exactly the same setup. They use the same hull. It's got a 300 horsepower engine on the back. But this is the alternative. Without the wheelhouse, you can have a more generous open outdoor cockpit space. You've got the seating facing each other across there. You can see that's also got a big swing over backrest. So then you can have forward facing, two forward facing rows of seats. Obviously without that big wheel has structure there's just more room to move around on the decks there is the same sort of wet bar here but because it's that much further forward you don't need to have it behind the wheelhouse itself we've still got that big hard top structure overhead providing some protection much the same helm station exactly the same down below decks and of course the same walk around fore deck area quite like this grey moulding actually, it just gives a slightly different look to it, but there you go, much the same boat, but indoor or outdoor, you have it as open or as closed as you like, but interesting to see two different options on the same hull, take your pick, whichever suits you best. Hopefully we'll grab a sea trial before too long. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the Dromias Yachts 28 SUV and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.